Today I'm at Split Rock State Park. Uh, I came up here to do some camping on the North Shore. I wanted to hike into one of the Spear hiking trail spots, but neither one of the two spots I had planned were plowed out. So I kind of decided, you know, rather than go home, I'll just uh, book a one night stay at the Split Rock State Park. It's where you, uh, you got about a half a mile hike into your campsite, wherever you're gonna stay, which is kind of nice. So that's what we're doing here. We got the polk. The trail itself is actually groomed, packed down. People can come out here with snowshoes. You can come out here just with hiking boots. I'm in boots right now, but I got the snowshoes in the pulk. I don't think I'll need them. Not for a little bit that I'm going in. But it's got some really nice views. Just to give you an idea about how deep the snow is up here, it's about, snow is about two to three feet. Take a look at that sign, almost entirely buried. Step off the trail here, you go in up to your knee, maybe more. Whew. Almost at the site, almost there. Made it. Site 19. It's got a really pretty view. Not a lot of trees for hanging though. I don't know. This is site 19 at uh, Split Rock State Park. You kind of, it's the farthest one away from the lighthouse. Um, and it's up on this really pretty cliff. Problem is, it's really windy up here. And there's almost no trees to hang from. So this doesn't look like it's a site that's gonna work for me. I am going to double back and I'm gonna see what I can find. Yeah, in the summer, if you're a tent camper, I can see this one. This one's a popular site, for sure. I'm actually going to go scout in a couple campsites, see if I can find one I like.
Tuscan under quilts. These are two 20 degree under quilts. Gonna loft them up. Gonna stack them. Split Rock State Park. Uh, this is about four hours north of Minneapolis. It's a lesser known park. Everybody knows it for the Split Rock Lighthouse. Not a lot of people know it for the camping and campsites here. There's a lot of campsites that are just, in the winter, you have to actually hike in a little bit, about a half mile max. Not that bad. They also open up sites down by the beach where you can camp right on the beach all the broken ice coming in if you like that but the wind is terrible the winds even bad up here that's one of my problems right now with this site the sites themselves are they overlook some of them overlook the lake which is pretty some of them are tucked back in there so make sure you kind of know what you're getting before you book here yeah great view of the lake great view of the lighthouse As the sun's setting behind me, I figured I'd just show you my little area and how I got it set up. So this is, I had to dig it out of the snow here, but you can see it drops down considerably as we get a little further and further here. I got the kitchenette right over here. That's the kitchenette and underneath here is the pulk with all the goodies. I brought some pants if I needed them. Some uh, snow pants, rain jacket. Of course I got the hammock with the top cover in here with a view all the way out to the lighthouse, which is nice. You know, there is a little bit of a breeze coming through here, but hopefully it'll be mitigated. And then I got snowshoes there, snow shovel right there. In here, I got my negative 25 Yukon flannel sleeping bag, which is super warm. My top cover. I got two 20 degree quilts that are also super warm. That is my little area for the night. So I'm excited. I'm getting ready to make a little bit of dinner and then nestle in right before the sunset, yeah. Good morning. It is a little past past six o'clock. Uh, the sun's gonna come up in about the next half hour. I'm just doing the hammock gymnastics of putting back on layers in the hammock and heating up before I jump on out in the cold, but you can hear the snow and the wind coming in here. It's blowing stuff around.
storm is just gonna get worse so let's make it back to the car and head on home Yes, I know. I know what you're thinking. I didn't say anything about the Split Rock Lighthouse over there. That's right, because I've already seen it. It's kind of a tourist attraction around here. A lot of people have visited it. It's always busy. I came here more for the campsites on this trip. I wanted to check out this little area, see how it might do in the summer if I want to come book a site, you know, overlook the lake. But honestly, I think this is a really good winter campsite because there's some amazing ice like falls that are just on the shore that are really good to capture and also the breaking of the ice like when it rises up I got went out on the lake and I got some really good shots that's why it's worth it to come here you could even just do a day trip of it if you want but camping's kind of fun hiking out in this not so much but I'll get there thanks for watching